Hey, hey, and welcome to today's video. If you are in need of cleaning motivation today or just something to watch while you tackle your to-do list, then you are in the right place. I have tons of deep cleaning today, getting my house back in order, and I'm just gonna take you along with me. So get your to-do list out and let's clean together. Good morning, sweet friends, and welcome back to another video. I am ready to get my to-do list done for today. It's a long one. Um, blinds are open. It's a beautiful day, and I'm ready to get some cleaning done. So I'm starting by getting all of the clothes that we just had piled up right here, putting them away, and then that basket right there full of clothes are actually clothes that I had folded the night before, and they're all the kids' clothes, but it was too late. The kids were already in bed, so I'm just going to go ahead and take those upstairs and put them in their room, and they'll put them away when they get home from school. And then, of course, we have to make our bed in the mornings. I am loving this new bedding I got from Pottery Barn. And then this little blanket here on the end of the bed is from Amazon. I shared all of this in last week's video. But I am loving all of this new bedding. It is so comfy and cozy. Keeps us warm at night. Like I said in my last video, it doesn't get too cold here. So the quilt is perfect. And then the little knit blanket, we use that if we do for some reason get a little cooler at night but it is so cozy and I love it so much. Now that the bed is made, the last thing I do is spray my Caldrea room spray. This stuff smells so good. And then I'm taking the first basket of clothes upstairs. Now we're moving into the living room and this is where I was folding clothes last night. And so there are some clothes that still need to be put away that are on our table and then more clothes that need to go upstairs in that basket that are the kids clothes. But you can see we have a bit of a mess to clean up. So I'm just gonna give you a little overview of what all I'm gonna be tidying up first. And then I will definitely be doing some deep cleaning in here today as well. So here's another basket of clothes that are already folded for the kids and then I'm just going around and anything else that needs to be taken upstairs, I'm just throwing it in the basket too. And here I am with another bottle of Caldrea room spray. I love um, to just spray this on the couches and on our carpet after I've tidied up in the living room. I did not spray it on the couch where our cat was laying, obviously, because I didn't want to spray her with room spray, <laughs> but I did spray all around and it smells so good. Now let's move into the kitchen and tidy up in here. We have a little basket here with lots of candy in it, or a bag, not a basket, but um, Gracie June got cheerleader of the week for her all-star team, and so I'm just emptying that into our candy basket, which we have so much candy in there, we need to go through it and get rid of stuff. We still have tons of stuff in there from like Valentine's Day. And then we do have a shoe rack here on um, right inside of our garage where we keep all of our shoes. So a lot of times we will take our shoes off right there by the island and then end up having to put them back outside. So that's what I did there. And then now we just have like jackets and sweatshirts and stuff. We're in that season where you just never know what the weather is going to be like each day. 
Um, some mornings it's like really cold in the morning, but then by lunchtime it is burning up. But then other mornings it's not cold at all. It's just hot. <laughs> so we had a bunch of sweatshirts and stuff laying around because the kids did not wear sweatshirts to school this morning. They had worn them the day before and I had taken them out of their book bags that morning before school and just laid them right there. And then I knew I was going to pick them up later. So that's why we had all that stuff laying around. And I've talked about it before. We don't really have like a mud room or anything. So this is kind of where all of our stuff just gets dropped and we have to go through it and put it back where it belongs. And usually it belongs upstairs. So it takes me a minute to get it back up there. <laughs> Now I'm going to put away these clean dishes really quick. I usually run my dishwasher at night, but totally forgot to run it the night before. And you can see we also have like our crock pot that was not washed the night before. Um, I must have just forgotten about it, but I am going to go ahead and load any dishes, any extra dishes that I can into the dishwasher and then wash any other dishes that I need to wash by hand, which this crock pot is a new crock pot, by the way. I didn't talk about it in last week's video, but some of you noticed um, our old crock pot, which we still have, we still use it. It's a four quart. And then, so I, I needed something bigger. We were making a recipe one day and my crock pot was not big enough. So I started looking for a bigger crock pot and I've actually had all of the beautiful by Drew Barrymore collection kitchen items saved on a wish list for a while now. Um, actually, back when I was looking for a new air fryer, I was looking at getting the beautiful air fryer in white but I had read a lot of the reviews and a lot of people said something about discoloring on their air fryers. So that's why I went with the Ninja because so many of you suggested that one. So anyways, I already had this on my wish list and I checked the reviews. The reviews were great on it and I've seen a lot of people using them. And so I was like, well, let's go ahead and just try it out. It was really affordable for such a large crock pot. It's a six quart and I think it just looks so pretty on the countertop even though you guys know me, I do not like having a bunch of stuff on the countertop. Like I really don't want my air fryer on there, but it's so big that it just can't fit in the um, cabinets very nicely. So it sits on the countertop. Um, but anyways, I wanted something that was pretty on the countertops, but then also very functional. And this one is, it's, it's worked really good. We've already used it like four times now. And I love it so much. So I will link this one in case you're looking for a really nice crock pot as well that is affordable. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want. As long as we're together, everything will do. You got me going on. Okay, you guys know me. I do a load of laundry, at least a load of laundry, if not two, every single day. So I actually had our comforter that was on our bed before. I still hadn't washed it, so I'm throwing it in the washing machine now. I am going to keep it, um, and I'll fold it and put it in our um, closet just in case we want to use it later. Okay, all the clean dishes are put away. I actually have the dishwasher going right now too. And I am going to go ahead and start doing some deep cleaning. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean down our cabinets. And I have been cleaning our cabinets for a while like this. So basically, I just take my mop bucket, put about a tablespoon, that's probably a little more than a tablespoon, honestly, of Tide powder into my mop bucket with some hot water. And then I just use my spin mop to wash my cabinets. 
Now, if you do this method to wash your cabinets, just make sure that you spin your mop out really, really well because you don't want it dripping wet because then your cabinets will be sopping wet and you'll have to go back over them with a dry towel. Um, so just make sure you wring your mop out really, really well and that it's just damp as you're cleaning off your cabinets. I love cleaning my cabinets this way because I don't have to climb up on any counters. It's really good on the back. I don't have to get on my knees or anything like that, and it's very fast. Now, if there are some spots where we have some caked on food and I'm not able to completely get it with the mop, then I will take a microfiber cloth and I'll just dip it into the water and just scrub it off. But today, I didn't have anything um, it was pretty easy. There weren't any major spots or anything that needed some TLC. So this works so good, especially if you are maintaining, like cleaning your cabinets pretty often. This is such an easy way to do it. I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. Now, I also wanted to mention that this is the exact same thing I do to clean my baseboards. So, I don't use my mop nearly as much as I used to for the actual floors, um, just because I have the vacuum mop, which you're going to see me use later. But when I am needing to do the baseboards, I definitely pull this out because this is the easiest way to clean the baseboards around the house. Okay, my cabinets are all nice and clean. It's starting to smell so good in here and it really takes no time at all when you clean the cabinets that way. So done with that part, which is used to be one of my least favorite tasks of cleaning the kitchen because of getting on my knees and also having to climb up on the countertops and everything. So now I don't mind it too much and I love the way it smells. So now I'm just wiping down the countertops really quick and then I'm gonna move into, I'm gonna actually clean the sink as well. And then I still need to clean the inside of our oven. It was pretty bad, so I'm gonna clean that and wipe down the outside of the appliances. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have really been off of my cleaning routine for probably since the kids went back to school. Like, I used to have a pretty good cleaning routine, but now that the kids are back in school and we're driving all over the place, they have practice every single day after school for something, I feel like our days are a lot shorter and I've also got, they've got school activities that are going on that we have to be at and stuff. So I've just gotten off of my cleaning routine. I used to have like specific days of the week that I would cl clean certain areas and then for the deep cleaning, I had a little rotation where I would clean a different area of the house each week and do all the deep cleaning. But like I said, since the kids have been back at school, I have totally been off of that routine. So the other day I sat down with a pen and a piece of paper and jotted down what I thought I could actually handle, like what my new routine needed to look like because obviously my old routine was not working. So I did that and then um, we created some printables for a weekly cleaning routine and then also a deep cleaning routine that's like a rotation. So I know we have like the holidays coming up so of course I'm going to have a bunch of that content like holiday content, decorating for Christmas, all that kind of stuff. Um, but then I'm going to also like later in December I think I'm going to start sharing my 
weekly cleaning routine and then also my deep cleaning routine so that way you guys can get an idea of some things if you know you want to try it for the new year because I know that's usually when we all like try to get our lives back together after the holidays right so I'm going to share all that stuff coming very soon and then I'll also share the printables in case you guys want to use those as well now, if you need some printables, I do have some on my blog on amydarley.com, and they're my old ones, so feel free to go over there and check those out and print those out as well if you need something to use right now. All right, really quick, I'm just showing you the inside of my oven, and I'm going to go ahead and take the racks out because you can't see completely the bottom of the oven, but there was some burnt-on cheese. Like, we always cook our pizzas right on the rack, so of course it drops, you know, cheese gets dropped and cooks onto the bottom but honestly it's not too bad because I have cleaned my oven not too long ago so I vacuum first and then I'm using the pink stuff uh, cream cleanser usually I use the paste but this time I decided to use the cleanser and I have my wet scrub daddy sponge and I'm just scrubbing the inside and I do like the way that this like it wasn't necessarily a paste, so it was actually a lot easier to clean off than the paste was. So I'm scrubbing, 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 getting all the stuff off the sides, off the bottom. And then after I'm done doing all the scrubbing, I'll just take a dry microfiber cloth and I'll wipe it all off. Now, if you have a spot that's like really, really dirty, I would definitely recommend using the pink stuff paste because I think it's a little bit a little more abrasive if that makes sense so it scrubs it off a little bit easier um, but if you're just doing regular maintenance then this stuff works great you can also use this in your sink if your sinks um, are white like mine it'll help keep you know all the stains away all the hard water stains off and you don't have to do a ton of scrubbing to get all of that off. So it's really nice. And then here I'm using the same stuff right on the oven door on the glass and scrubbing with my scrub daddy sponge. Now that all of that is wiped up, I'm using the Sprayway glass cleaner just to spray on the glass top and make it a lot more shiny. It's going to look so good. Look at that. I love this stuff. It works so great and it makes everything just shine. Now I'm going to clean off the stove top and the same thing here. It's not too bad, but I definitely wanted to clean it. So I am using the Jaws kitchen cleaner. This is another one of those cleaners that comes with refill pods. So you're using the same bottle over and over again, which is really nice if you like to stock up on product, but you don't have a whole lot of space. You just get those little pods and you stock up on those and they're so small. You can just store them in a little drawer and whenever you run out of your cleaner, you just empty your bottle, rinse it out, and then put a new pod in, and you're good to go. So you're just reusing that same bottle over and over. Now the kitchen cleaner is a great degreaser, so I love using it here on my stovetop. Um, another great degreaser that I used all the time was the Method degreaser, but once I ran out of that, I still had this Jaws kitchen cleaner, so I decided I'm not going to get another bottle of that just because this works just as well so that's what i've been using lately and then here on my stainless steel appliances i'm using the sprayway stainless steel cleaner i love this stuff as well now i will say if you're going to use it um i would plan on cleaning your floors afterwards or if you want to do like this and just spray it right onto the microfiber cloth that works great too 
which is what I typically do. Um, but I am cleaning my floors today, so that's okay. But if this gets on the floor, like a lot of times when I spray it onto, straight onto the appliance, it might get on the floor and be a little bit slippery. So I definitely like to clean my floors after I've been using this if it happens to get on the floor at all. But Sprayway also makes the stainless steel wipes. So if you prefer that, you could definitely get those and you don't have to worry about it getting on your floor at all. You just use your wipe, wipe down your appliances and throw it away. But I will say that of all the like stainless steel cleaners, this is by far my favorite. You do have to do some buffing to make sure you get it all buffed out, but it definitely leaves your appliances super shiny after you're done. Okay, I still have to do our floors, but before I did that, I wanted to move on to the next thing on my to-do list, which was filling up. These are like, they're actually juices, like little juice bags, but they look like blood bags. Um, we were doing a little party for the girls for cheer after their cheer practice on this day. And so we're using fruit punch, filling up these little blood bags that we got off of Amazon and this was going to be part of their little party. So since this was on my to-do list today, I figured I would go ahead and film it and show you guys because I know a lot of you think that all I do is clean and I promise that's not all I do. Um, but also these are so cute and I know that Halloween is tomorrow, so it's probably way too late to do something like this for this year. But if you wanted to put it on like your to-do list for next year, for next Halloween, they turned out so cute. And I didn't end up filming like with my YouTube camera. I didn't film their party and everything. But I'll put some pictures of what their little party turned out like here on the screen so you can see. It was so cute. Um, basically, they came in. We had, a, we had the little cafe at their school all decorated for our party and it was like a bougie Halloween party theme and so we put up some balloons and they played a few Halloween games which were so simple and easy. They had pizza and cupcakes and then they even did a little pumpkin painting. So the other cheer mom, she is so fun and she actually came up with all of this stuff. So I just helped her out and it turned out super cute. So anyways, I put these bags together and then went ahead and put them on ice so they would be chilled for the party. If you want, I can be a fire. I can be a fire. Now, if you do this, you might want to use gloves. Um, my fingers were definitely a little bit stained, but it wasn't too bad. And the bags were super easy to fill. They did take a little bit of time to do just because it was, you know, you're filling up the syringe and then filling up the bags. And I had to fill up each syringe probably like four or five times for each bag. But it was so easy, just a little bit time consuming. So just make sure you have some time to do these. And then your kids are going to love them. I'm telling you, the cheerleaders were obsessed with these things. So I ended up putting a little ice from our freezer in here too because I didn't have quite enough, but that is all done and ready for a party. Alright, last thing on my to-do list for today is the floors. And so I'm going to vacuum using my Dyson V15 Detect, which is part of my giveaway for this month. So if you haven't entered, be sure to go enter that giveaway. All you have to do is like and comment on all of the videos that were posted during the month of October. There are t five total videos. So if you're on this video, you'll like and comment on this one. And then the four videos before this one. 
Um, I'm giving away one of these for my October giveaway and I'm so excited because this vacuum is amazing. It's definitely the most powerful cordless vacuum that I've ever had and I just love it. So I'm giving away one of these vacuums to one winner. So I will actually be posting, it'll be during the first week of November, but um, I wanted to give you guys a few days extra after October in case you weren't watching this particular video because I know it's the day before the last day of October when I post this one. So I kind of wanted to give you through the rest of the week and then I will be posting the winner. I will be announcing that next week and it'll be announced on the community tab, and then um, I'll also reply to the person's comment. So be on the lookout for the winner, and thank you to everybody that enters. Y'all are amazing. And now moving on to vacuuming and mopping my hardwood floors. I did a review of this vacuum mop combo in my last video. So this is the new, or I should say the newest version of the Tenco. It's the Tenco Floor 1S5 Smart Cordless Wet Dry Vacuum Cleaner. This thing is amazing. I have the, or I actually just gave away the iFloor 2, which is what I've been using for the last few years and talking about all the time. But I wanted to review a newer version for you guys. So I bought this one off of Amazon on Amazon Prime Day Deals Day. And um, it was on a good sale. So I ended up getting it and reviewing it last week in that video. I will say this vacuum is awesome. If you don't have a wet dry vacuum, I highly recommend this one. And I think it's actually on sale right now at Walmart too. So be sure to check the description box of this video. And I have a link to all of my favorite cleaning products and tools, everything that I use on a daily basis, or you will see in my videos, they are linked there. So um, be sure to check out that link in case there's anything that you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for a great Christmas gift for someone. I also have gift guides there, but this would be such a good Christmas gift for someone in your life, especially if you know someone that just is still using a mop and bucket all the time. This is so great on the back. Um, I always talk about the back because I've had back issues for so long, but this is so great because you don't have to bend over. You're vacuuming and mopping your floors in one pass, so you don't have to go over and vacuum and then go back and mop. You're doing it all at one time. So if you're looking for a great Christmas gift for someone, I highly recommend this vacuum mop combo. Okay, I am almost done vacuuming and mopping the floors and I actually had it on auto mode this week. I think last week I had it on max mode the whole time so I did have to refill the clean water tank one time in the middle but today I did it on auto mode and it lasted all through the main living area. I didn't have to refill it or anything so that was awesome. Now after I'm done mopping and vacuuming, I'm putting it back on the charger, starting the auto clean mode. So this is gonna actually clean the brush roll for me and get anything that's on that brush roll off. Now I do still clean the brush roll at least once a week. I'll take it out of the vacuum and clean it by hand. But other than that, it auto cleans and I only have to clean it once a week. But check how dirty my floors were. They did not look that dirty when you're just looking at them, but they're gross. And now every time that I vacuum and mop my floors, I do clean the other little pieces. So the pieces that come with the dirty water container, 
I will clean those. So I'm going to just use some hot water and Dawn dish soap. I let them soak in here for a while and then later in the day I come back and I clean them, which I did not film that part, but um, the set comes with like an extra brush roll, an extra filter, and also a bottle brush tool to clean everything out. But yay, okay, I got all the things on my to-do list done for today, so I feel very accomplished. This doesn't always happen. <laughs> Sometimes, like last week, it took me three days to do what I thought I was going to get done in one day, but I got it all done, and just in time too because I had to leave to head up to the school for the little Halloween party. But I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. Hopefully it got you motivated or maybe you got some things done while you were watching. Y'all say hey down in the comments, especially if you're new, introduce yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.